So we have three subatomic particles. So this is what they're called subatomic particles. Or what teen hai. Aapke paas proton hai, neutron hai, electron. The proton and neutron and electron, they are all in different spaces. So this is in the nucleus. This is also in the nucleus. And this one is moving around in the space. Now, if I change a proton, then what do I change about the atom? Yes, Taha. Uh, sir, I have asked that you have told that there are different energy levels in uh, uh, different shells. Mein na. Uh, yeah. to, sir, I have asked that if the shell is close to the shell nucleus, then the electrons will be higher than the energy level or less than the energy level. It will be less than the energy level. Okay, sir. Okay. So this proton, if I change it, if I have an atom and I add a proton add kar deta hon, ya usse ek proton remove kar deta hon, what do I change about that atom? I change its element. So if I have hydrogen, hai, that means it has one proton and if I add one proton, it will become helium. It will not hydrogen. Nahi that is telling us that the identity of the element depends on proton. You change the number of protons, you change the element. If I don't change the proton, I change the neutron. Then what do I change about the atom? atom. I change the isotope or mass of the atom. Ke atom kitna heavy hai, wo change hoga. Aur uska isotope kons hai, wo change hoga. Uska element change nahi hoga. So let's say I have carbon aur usme 6 neutron hai. Me usme ek or neutron add kar deta. So it will still be carbon. But it will be a different isotope of carbon. So what is isotope? Isotope means that it is the same element. Which means what makes an element? As you can see, element depends on protons. So isotope is atoms with same protons, but different neutrons. You can write number of neutrons. That's fine. So you can also call it that atoms of same element because protons same. What happens if I change electron of an atom? If I add electron, if I remove electron, then I change the charge or the ion. That so if I have carbon or usme main ek electron add kar deta hon, so it will be, become carbide. It will not be a carbon atom neutral atom anymore. It will have a negative charge on it. And if I remove an electron, it will be a positive charge, which is usually called carbocation. It will not be the same carbon atom anymore. Mere pa sodium atom hai, I, get, I remove an electron from it. I get sodium ion. It will have a charge on it. It will be an ion. If I have chlorine and I add an electron to it, it becomes chloride. It has a charge on it. It's a different ion. So each one of these plays a part in the identity of what particle you have. So if you change proton, you change element. If you change neutron, you change isotope. And if you have electron, you change the charge. What about the masses? You must have seen them. So the mass is one, one and roughly zero because we ignore it. It's almost nothing. The mass of electron. We call it relative mass. Compare karayam isko. Similarly, relative charge, relative charge of proton is plus one for neutron is zero because it's neutral and for electron is minus one. So this tells us that the electron and proton have same charge except opposite to each other. But the mass of proton and neutron is roughly the same. So they help us identify the total mass of an atom. So you should be able to identify all of that.